quick revision video on gases at RTP or room temperature and pressure. So we'll start with the essentials. The molar gas volume at room temperature and pressure or RTP is 24 decimeters cubed. So in other words, one mole of any gas at RTP occupies a volume of 24 dm cubed, which is equivalent to 24,000 centimeters cubed. And the formula triangle that we use for this type of calculation is on the screen now. Okay, so I'm going to look at two typical questions. So this is the first type of question that you would typically be asked. If you want to have a go at those, just pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So for the first one, the first thing you've got to do is work out how many moles of nitrogen gas we've got. So mass over MR, so that many moles. Just keeping the full number in my calculator. And now we know the moles. The volume at RTP is the moles times 24. So that many decimeters cubed. Multiply by 1,000, that many centimeters cubed. And the three significant figures, that many. Second question, first thing we've got to do is work out how many moles of gas we've got from the volume. So the moles of CO2 is 10 divided by 24, so that many moles there. I'm going to turn that into grams now by multiplying by the MR. So you can see there's the answer there at the end. 18.3 grams to three significant figures. And the second type of typical question is a reacting quantities question. So if you want to have a go at that, just pause the video again and play on for the answer. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is work out how many moles of hexane we've got, mass over MR. So there's that many moles of hexane. The mole ratio in the balanced equation tells us that for every mole of hexane, we get six moles of CO2. So we need to multiply the moles of hexane by six to get the moles of CO2 produced. And then all we're going to do is multiply that by 24 to get the equivalent decimeters cubed at RTP. So that's how many dm cubed of CO2 are produced and to three significant figures, 1670. And if it's not at RTP, we use the ideal gas equation. So PV equals NRT. And I've got a quick revision video on that and the link to that should be on the screen right now.